If you are a woman going through menopause, you know the process takes a big toll on the body. So what can you eat to support your health? Registered dietitian Andrea Hallwigner is here with some superfood suggestions. Now we're talking about weight gain, cardiovascular risk, digestive changes. Like I, I, I swear there's not a function not impacted. It, it's all encompassing. All Menopause encompassing. takes a whole roll. Mood changes, also lower bone density sort of shifts are happening. Uh, it's not an easy time for women, that's for sure. No, but I'm looking at what you've got here and it seems to me that this is in line with the things that you are have been showing us for the past few years are, are a good general nutrition plan. Of course, so if you notice, there's a lot of whole foods. Yes. Here. And so when we think about tackling, reducing heart disease and bone density and digestion and good mood energy management, if we start over here on this side, these are foods here, whether it's tofu, soy milk, um, dairy foods such as cheese, uh, Greek yogurts, really important for bone density and really great sources of protein. The prunes might be something you're wondering about. Well, I paired them over here along with dairy, and it's because prunes are also very good at helping with bone um, construction as so well. So this is not necessarily digestion that you're talking about the prunes. The, the prunes are good for your bones. They're good for both, and I particularly just like them. They're kind of like a sweet, so do I. sort of I, delicious. And you have to be careful because there are impacts <laughs> from from going down. But and the the I love the Costco prunes too. Like I this, know. yeah, you these ones. These ones are really good okay so prunes for bone health did not know that no. some veggies some leafy greens some oats we got whole grains here lots of um you know you always hear you know oats have a heart on them so good yep. for cardiovascular reduction excellent for overall good overall digestion psyllium based cereals also very good lentils chickpeas all of the fiber whole grain plants um excellent for good cardiovascular risk reduction, diabetes prevention. Um, oh, diabetes, I'm glad that you brought that mm. up because that can be a concern in menopause. As our blood sugars, um, or as our hormones fluctuate, our blood sugars can also fluctuate. So we just see an increased risk of chronic disease in general. So you um, really want age. to try to do what you can to keep things, all of it, running smoothly. Absolutely, which is when we look at the, the next sort of uh, side over here, I've got some foods that are really rich in protein and healthier fats here. And so we've got any kind of fish is good, whatever is seasonal, whatever you can buy, fresh, frozen, all of it is delicious. Canned, um, also good choices for protein mm -hmm. and those healthy omega-3 fats in your fattier fish. And then of course we've got um, pecans, an excellent sort of omega-3 rich nut. I've got almonds, I got flax seeds, hemp parts, pistachios, whatever kind of whole nut seed you like. A little handful of those, maybe with some prunes or a, a piece of fruit, an excellent yep. snack choice, marrying a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbohydrate. Always together, yes, right? Always marrying And you know together. what I love about um, pistachio nuts is I feel you burn a calorie <laughs> while denutting the nut. It sort of slows people down. Right. Um, there's a whole sort of process of kind of I'm a fan of the pistachio uh, just like you are we've had mm -hmm. we've had the pistachio conversation yeah. so remembering the basic rules of nutrition if you're gonna have a protein pair it with something I know we've gone back and forth with dairy over the years we're at dairy good and especially in menopause. Dairy is like naturally rich in calcium so if we look at all of the other fortified um, beverages, they're fortified to look like milk from a calcium perspective. So unless you have a dairy allergy or maybe yep. you're more of a, a plant-based eater, I would say these are excellent choices for, for women throughout menopause because their protein is high, their calcium and vitamin D is there for good bone health. And we tend to like them. And and <laughs> don't forget, like if you're doing, uh, going to do like um, a, a nut with some prunes, like you are hitting a lot of areas. There's a lot of like cardiovascular, bone health, digestion. Just, you're going to good energy management. Energy, yeah. So, <laughs> so it's shifting our thinking maybe a little bit. And you can throw a handful, you know, on a salad or a handful in a stir fry or what, whatever you're doing. It isn't that difficult to take these items and incorporate them. So, thank you for reminding us. And I'm looking and I'm like, I could just go grocery shopping from this. This table right here and, and I would be in you good shape even right need to prepare a lot of it yeah. is you know throw some Greek yogurt in a bowl top it with maybe some hemp parts or pecans some sort of sliced fruit uh, you're off to the races for a good healthy breakfast okay 
and uh, you know the weight gain is just a whole other nightmare. Uh, but the the weight gain can be managed by by having some good nutrition. Uh, so Andrea's got um, a blog on her website, Menopause Superfoods, and suggestions on things to pair up together. So you might want to check that out. Healthstandnutrition.com is her website, and it's got lots of great info on there. And nothing wrong with a little piece of chocolate. She's the chocoholic dietitian. I mean, all. we just had a chocolate segment right before here. I was very so happy. So good, right? And you're a fan <laughs> of that sweet, sweet Bella's chocolate. chocolate. 10 out of 10. 10 Highly out of 10. Recommended. So good. All right. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs>